So this little place where people inject, presumably the council, have now added a little shark spin on the top and an absolutely massive shark spin effectively, which someone has already used to chuck their needle away in. And while that might deal with the problem of discarded needles here, of course it doesn't deal with the main problem, which is that people are in here injecting on their own and potentially dying because there's no one to look after them if something goes wrong. I've just met someone over there who's uh, about to inject themselves. We're in a park in Bristol. And uh, he's going to do that anyway, whatever I say or don't say. So I just said to him, look, I'm going to take a little wander in the sun and then I come back in a couple of minutes and check that you're all right. Because if you're not, I've got this, which is naloxone, which is the uh, opiate antidote, so hopefully if he has overdosed, I can save his life. Wouldn't it be better if instead of being in a park, in a grubby corner, he was actually in a clinic where there was an actual nurse trained to look after people, could guide him towards treatment and support him, even when he was ready, instead of this. Right, I'd better go and see if he's all right. So he just used a little bit to see uh, the guy in the park. I was going to inject her and just used a little bit to see how strong it was, which is a safer, safer way to do this. Um, but he's now using some more. Now he's found out and he didn't think it was very strong. So I will wait around for a little bit longer. He's a nice man. So uh, he's all done. He's all right. He survived got his leftover kit which I'll go and dispose of for him now but he survived this time who knows if he will next the time we had safer drug consumption rooms in Bristol and across the UK